Hey there YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to fix damaged video on your A118 or A118C dash cam. The first step is to get the file off your memory card. What you need is a file that recorded successfully and you're going to name that file good and this file should play back normally. And then you're going to have your bad one which won't play. So once you got those two files, go to Chrome or your browser of choice. And then first download Recover MP4 from Video Help. I'll put the links in the description, of course. And download the 1.92 version. And they do offer a premium service, this Recover MP4 company, but you don't need it for your dash cam. Then download FFmpeg 4.3.1 or whichever version is the latest, it'll probably work too. And you just want to download the normal Windows version. Uh, you can download the 64-bit or the 32-bit. I'm going to download the 32-bit just because I'm old. Now you only really need FFmpeg if you want to put the audio back together with the video. If you're only looking for the video, you don't need FFmpeg. Once that's done, you are going to want to open up the zip files, or just extract them. And you're going to want to put FFmpeg in the same folder as the good and bad video files. So as long as you end up with a folder structure like this, you have your FFmpeg exe and you recover mp4.exe along with the video files, you'll be good. Alright, once you have these four files named this way, you're going to go ahead and hold down the shift key on your keyboard, then right click in the white space within this folder, and then open PowerShell window here. Then, when PowerShell opens up, Type in CMD, this makes the next part a little easier, and that'll put you into command prompt. Then you're going to type recover, and you can hit tab, and it should auto-complete the executable name there. And then good, and then tab, the tab key, and then hyphen hyphen analyze. And that analyzes the file. Again, be sure that you did the good one, the one that actually works from the same dash cam. Then the program, you can see, even gives you the commands that you're going to want to run. So the reason that I opened this in the command prompt is because you can just copy all this. So select it with your left cursor, then click once with your right cursor on the highlighted text, and that'll copy it into your clipboard. And then you can just open up a notepad and paste. And you just have to change the corrupted file here to bad.move. The case does not matter. Then copy this. This just this line, right click, copy. Go back into here. Right click once. And it should look like this, and then you hit enter. So now, in the same folder, you have a result.h264 and a result.wave. And you also have the two header files, but that's not important to the next step. If you wanted to, you can view the video right here just by right-clicking on the H.264 file and opening it in something like VLC. You can't use Windows Media Player to view an H.264 file like this. 
but that you can see the file is recovered. Whereas before, there was nothing there. So you're going to want to make this into an actual file that Windows Media Player can play. So you're going to go back to your notepad and copy this command line that it gives you, making sure that you only copy this line and don't accidentally select up into the next line. You can also type this out if you want. Right click, copy. Go back to your PowerShell slash command line. Right click once. And then that'll put this command there and then hit enter. And that will generate this result.move file. And this result.move file can be played in Windows Media Player just fine. Now I didn't have audio on, so this doesn't have any audio. I turned the mic off on my dash cams, but you should have audio. If you don't have audio, there's a chance that it's too corrupted and you'll just have to live with it. So go buy a new dash cam. But um, I hope this video helps you and you can get the footage that you need off of your dash cam. Thanks for watching.